Good morning, everybody. It is May 11th. It's a beautiful day. Slight breeze, but not too bad. It's supposed to be in the mid 50s today. We're going to get headed out to the farm. This was a very busy weekend, so I did my best to hit all the high points so you could see what was happening. Hope you enjoy. Here we're coming up on one of the bridges. This is the last one, closest one to the farm. And they've gotten the bridge beams in place and they're starting to deck it. Pretty cool. That's the new bridge and the decking. Looking good actually. It sure is nice to see all the progress on the bridge. They're going to be done with those in no time. It'll be another month, month and a half, I'm sure, but that's okay. Okay, so I've attached the small chisel plow that we have for this little tractor. And I left the forks on for some counterweight. The bucket for it is back at the house in town, so I may do with the forks. And yes, they did rattle a fair bit bouncing around the field. The chisel plow worked out pretty good for gathering up piles of sticks and roots that we wanted to dispose of. I would take the time and comb through the spots that were giving us trouble, put them in a pile, and then Dave will come by with the mulcher and chew them up into little pieces. We knew the mulch layer would not like lots of sticks and roots in the dirt, so we were taking our time trying to eliminate as many of them as possible. And it worked pretty darn good. Okay, made it out to the farm, got the little tractor up and running. Dave's already up in the field working on chewing up what roots we can find. So we're going to prep this morning so we can get ready to start laying mulch. Turning out to be a nice day. Well, you can kind of see the mountain. It shows the rest of itself a little later. Let's get to work. Okay, if you look really close, we'll see if you can see him. Not quite the same color as all the sticks and debris, but pretty close. I've said this before, there are so many grouse that hang out on the farm. I suspect they like the open areas so they can see. And there's definitely an abundance of bugs hiding in and under and around all this woody debris that they can pick through. And they seem to be pretty good at tolerating the dozer or the tractor. They generally just kind of move out of the way and let you go on by. For most of the farm, we can wait for the sticks and the roots to break down. But for this year, those areas that we need to run that mulch layer, we got to put a little extra effort in to get it ready. Okay, as you can see, I'm attacking a spot here. It probably was a pretty thick spot of brush. It may have had a willow growing on it. They have really tough, long roots. But there's something about that spot that has a lot of debris, and the disc just doesn't want to cut it up real well. So it's worth the time to go ahead and kind of pull it apart, pile everything up, and then Dave will come along and take care of the roots. We ran around and cleaned up some spots with the... 3032 actually works out really good. Been a great little tractor so far. And we'll take the big horse and the disc up and see how it does now. It's amazing how much difference it made by spending part of the day taking care of those spots that were giving us trouble. Now the field is more consistent and much more workable.
Okay, figured I'd take this opportunity to fire up the F800, put the trailer down, and just kind of move it over out of the way. We had no plans to use it anytime soon, but if we do need it for some reason, it is ready to go wherever we need to take her. time get this hooked up to the tractor and get it adjusted see what happens again good day a little breeze but not so bad well we finally get to use our new mulch layer it is a Nolt model RB448. It is outfitted with the fertilizer box and dual drip tape dispensers. We got it from Berry Hill Irrigation Incorporated. They actually had units available for shipment right away. It came packaged wonderfully. And after remember, it came all the way from the east coast of the United States to the most western part of the United States and it was in great shape when we got it. It was pretty much ready to go when we got it. These are the fertilizer tubes I'm sticking on now. And there was a couple of discs in the back and other things to put on, but it didn't take much time at all. The advantage to this piece of equipment, it will do in an hour what it would take an army of us to do in an entire day and provide a much higher quality job. Speaking of putting things together, I wonder where Dave's at. Dave always seems to know when I'm going to need a hand doing something. And this is definitely the piece of equipment with having two minds is going to help. There is quite a few adjustments, and it's going to take a little bit of trial and error to get it all working right. Okay, me and Dave have been making progress. It's not too hard to figure this out, especially with the help of a tutorial on YouTube. We just have fertilizer to put in it. And then we're ready to go see how it works. And it is windy. It is the perfect weather to test laying thin plastic mulch. <laughs> so we're headed out to make our first pass. Oh, you see it? Oh. Okay, the first hour or so using the mulch layer, it definitely was a learning curve and we had to get the adjustments right. And then there still were quite a few sticks and debris in the field and that kind of messes with you as well. But by the time we were done, we had it down, everything went pretty smooth. And it'll only get easier and easier and better and better the more we use the machine. This unit does have a 50 horsepower requirement. So the 6135 is definitely a little bit big, but it was nice just to be able to idle the tractor along nice and slow and maintain control. I say control, I use that term loosely. Not only am I trying to steer straight, 
pay attention to the directions I'm getting from the ground crew, not run into the row next to me, and keep an eye out for sticks plugging up the machine. Fertilizer's going. Fertilizer's going. Yeah. That did it. That's it? Yep. Everything is going smoother now. Better dirt, too. That's probably why. Everything is going I'm better. I'm selling it far away. This truly is an amazing piece of equipment. For the last six or seven years, we've hand stretched our mulch and buried it with a shovel. And even though it was on pretty small plots, it took a lot of man hours and a lot of bending over and back breaking work. This piece of equipment is worth every penny and a great saver of your back and just time in general. Right now we are just laying the plastic, the drip tape, and the fertilizer. Okay, we're switching gears. Have to remember to rototill the garden at the house. It takes more time to open the fence up and get the tractor in here than it does to actually do the rototilling. And that's one of the wonderful things about using the biodegradable mulch. We can just rototill it right into the dirt and it goes away. As we're busy with the farm, the garden at the house this year primarily is just going to be sweet corn. It's easy to do and it's fun to watch grow. So we're running the rototiller over it, then we'll let it dry for a few days, then we'll come back and rototill it one more time, and then we'll go ahead and make rows and plant it. We won't be using the mulch layer in the garden. There's nowhere near enough space, so we still have to do this one basically by hand. Having a small tractor with a rototiller definitely takes a lot of the work out of gardening. I can remember all the hours I would spend chasing a rototiller around the garden. And if you look at these pieces of equipment as a long-term investment and figure you're going to own it 20, 30 years with proper care and maintenance, you quickly start to see the value. My one big piece of advice, always make sure you get a tractor a little larger than you think you need. Good morning, everybody. It's May 12th. You can see the sun's coming up behind me. It's going to be a pretty nice day. A little cooler over the next few days but then warm right back up again. So that's okay. We're gonna get out to the farm and get things going. See you guys out there. Well, we're out at the farm. Me and Dave been laying mulch for a little while this morning. Getting all the bugs worked out of the mulch layer. For sure. Don't judge on the row straightness. There's a lot of moving parts in this operation. What do you think? Gonna work this time? Yeah. It gets better every time. Every time. Mother's Day, everybody. 
I'm out here planting corn today. As you can see, Dave and Tarn are running the tractor and laying the plastic and making the heels and laying the tape underneath. <clears throat> See all the condensation already building? It's great. So, hopefully, we will have a good season. We're up here by the lake this year. Pretty nice land here. So, hopefully, it all works out good this year for us. Adrian's planting with the Poly Planter Junior. I did speed these clips up a little bit, but it literally will plant as fast as you can walk and very reliably too. Go look up High Sea Boot Company. They are a great company for wet boots, work boots, and everything else. And if you use A K C O R N, you'll get a 15% off. So, give it a try, look them up. Getting a little dusty. That's okay. It's warming up and drying out. Got some scattered showers today. High in the mid to upper 50s. Just across from the farm, there is a very large sand dune that has the most wonderful sand you've ever seen. Basically the consistency of beach sand. This is used in a lot of the road construction projects as a base layer, and then they'll come back over the top of it with a more coarse rock. So here you can see them taking the time to strip off the topsoil and the vegetation so they can get to the sand to load it up into trucks and take it to the bridge project. It's a Sunday evening, headed out back to the house from the farm. It was a good day and a good weekend. Approximately four acres of sweet corn is planted and ready to go under plastic. That's a pretty good deal. First time using the mulch layer, had a lot of learning to do to that. That worked out okay. Uh, the field still has a lot of sticks and roots in it, and the mulch layer definitely does not like sticks and roots. But we worked around it. Made it work, got it done. So we're super excited to have that. That's a, a big job completed for this spring. And it's a first on the farm of this scale. Did a little sweet corn last year, worked out good much much more this year. Temperatures are expected to start to climb in the next couple days. Should be into the mid 60s. And that's exactly what we need to get that corn to sprout and get rolling. Have some more planting to do coming up. Lots, lots going on over the next couple of weeks, two or three weeks during the planting window. And then it'll be back to land clearing and, and maintenance on the farm. Sure, thank everybody for stopping by. Please subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. It does help out a lot, for sure. And we'll see you guys next week. From everybody out here at the farm, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.